Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is EVE Online. Now I'm just warping into a mission zone here. No idea what to expect, it's the first mission I've actually played for quite a while, so things could get interesting. What have we got here? We've got a few targets, looks like mostly missile batteries. Now my current skill and equipment allow me to target six locks at a single go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right away. I'm also going to launch my drones here. I've got a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to use them to target the close-up uh, close enemies because my weapons are primarily long-range weapons. So I'll target that thing right there with my guns and let that fire away. Now, I used to be a regular player of EVE Online and I actually played the game back in its beta phase uh, during 2003, I think it was. And I played for quite a while back then and did end up having a bit of a break and that's usually how it's gone. I've ended up playing for quite an extensive period of time and then interspaced that with a, a break of a couple of years. So I'm back here now and I'm giving it another look. And you know what's really always interesting to me is how much content is always added to EVE Online. There's an absolutely huge amount added and I really love coming back and getting into the game and just checking it out and seeing all the changes that have been made over that uh, gap where I haven't actually been playing it. So I'm giving this mission a shot. The objective is to claim 10 sealed cargo containers. Now that's a warning that my shield's down but I'm not too worried about my shield because my ship is basically an armor boat. Everything's focused on armor which is the second ring here and I've got an armor repairer here. I'm going to start engaging that. My drones have nearly taken out the first ship anyway and now I've got my uh, weapons engaged. I can I'll shoot this and we should see a significant amount of damage done to it. There we go, not too bad. All in all, Right, it could be that this ship I'm using here and its loadout is actually completely rubbish. I've just jumped straight into the game and headed out to this mission with the ship I actually had available, which is not being touched for a good number of years. So if you're a regular player of EVE and you see I'm using some rather poor equipment, do let me know. You can see there my drones are whizzing around this thing. And a little bit of a go of it, or at least some of them are. Let's make them all to target the same same ship. I suppose not that it mattered. They'd almost finished that one off as well anyway. And the guns are making short work of this thing over here as well. Which is keeping its distance from me a little bit. I'm right over there, look. So once I've cleaned this area, the acceleration gate will become active again and I'll be able to move on to the next area which hopefully contains the objective for this particular mission. There's quite a few targets here so it might take a little while to actually kill them. The drones actually do a lot of good work with regards to that which is nice. That said, I do remember wanting to try out some of the faster uh, ships. They make combat a little bit more fast paced I think and although they don't have a whole lot of armour and hull or shields should I say their speed tends to make them better manoeuvrable and therefore a little bit more evasive. Now my armour is actually starting to take a little bit of a pounding but I'm not too worried about that because I'm slowly eliminating all these targets here so the amount of damage, combined damage they can do to me is going to be drastically reduced you know. I should actually be shooting these uh, sentry or turrets over here, shouldn't I? So I'll aim at them and take them out with my guns, I think, and leave the rest to the drones. It's all about weapons and systems management, isn't it? And target management. Once you've got that down, you're usually okay to go. This area shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, I actually want to keep up the pace a little bit with this particular video. So I've actually taken out all those targets now, which means I can move on and unlock this acceleration gate enabling me to get to the next area of this mission where hopefully the mission objective is this is a central hub of the fledging trade post a steady stream of merchants come and go as they please while mercenary guard ships dil dil diligently patrol the area okay so oh stop my ship damn it there's a cargo container there, I didn't see that one. Oh well. 
I wonder if that was one of them that I actually wanted. I can actually read the details from the top left corner. I keep going to their old vault habits. Ten small sealed cargo containers, so something a little bit different, but anyway, there's our targets. Far fewer targets in this particular area then. Hopefully it won't take too long to take them out. We're going to use the drones again of course because that is my primarily, primary skill all in drones and of course the long range guns I've got here so I always target the furthest away uh, ship with my guns and let the drones do the rest of the work. Of course it's entirely possible that some more enemies can warp in but I don't suppose that is going to happen. I know a lot of the missions around EVE tend to cycle around a lot so you sometimes get the same missions again and again but as I've had quite a break this is the first time I've done this particular mission at least it's the first time I actually remember doing it. it looks like we've still got quite a few targets left hopefully the drones get on that shortly and bring them all down they're not all that strong yeah look look at that Good old drones, pretty pretty powerful. I suppose they're fairly small ships, so the drones probably aren't far off being equivalent sort of size to them. Yeah, relatively small ships really, aren't they? Another one gone. Okay, well we're down to just three targets already. Excellent. Down to the last target then. I don't think this one's going to last all that long. And then I've got to try and figure out where these... Um, Ten sealed cargo containers are. Are they going to be in the loot wreckage or a container around here of some sort? Now, the tractor beam that I've deployed is pulling those wreckages in quite nicely. I'm checking them all, but they're all empty, so perhaps that is the way things are nowadays. It's not the way things used to be when I last played, but not to worry. Nearly there. Okay, that's the final target. Now, I can't see any cargo containers around here that have dropped. I might well be missing something, so I'm going to probably have to scout around a bit, which is a little bit problematic in the slow ship I've got here. Okay, so I've been scouting around for quite a while now, and I've absolutely no idea what I'm trying to find. Obviously, I know I've got to get the containers, but I can't see where they are. So best I can see is to head over in this direction. Oh, we got a uh, bestower there. Let's have a look at that. I remember having one of those ships. Probably still got it stored away somewhere actually. Hmm. Could it be then that this ship is holding the uh holding the cargo that we want? So I'm gonna lock on and destroy it and see what falls out. Hopefully our mission objective. I'm gonna do it with the drones, I think. Although maybe Maybe I can use more guns from here as well. Drones just seem so effective, don't they? And it looks like he's in dry dock, probably coming in for repairs or something. But that's the end of him. Yeah, look, they don't they don't stand much chance against the good old drones. That's the end of that. Nice, nice little explosion there as well. Okay, so what have we got? Let's deploy my little. Give me Bob again. Let's see if it pulls over that cargo container. I mean, nine kilometers isn't that far, but I'm going to take the lazy route. Where is it? I can't see it now. It's pulling over in one of the wrecks by the looks of it, isn't it? And I was hoping for it to pull over the cargo container. The drone is certainly zipping around fast, but that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, I don't see no wreck anyway. Look, I'll, uh, I'll pull the um, I'll put the little unit back in into this cargo scoop, and I'll fly over to where the cargo container should be, and maybe we we'll get it there. Oh, it looks like it's just shown up. And there we go, that is our uh, mission objective. Great, so now I need to head out, or head back should I say, and hand that in. 
So here we are back at the station. Uh, my journal is flashing again, just to indicate the fact that uh, the mission has been updated. Start conversation with the agent here. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Let's complete the mission and we do get our bonus. So it's close to a million credits there, which is a nice uh, little bit and some loyalty points. Complete mission. And I've got a nice little uh, increase in stand in there as well. So it looks like I'm going to be back playing Eve for a little while again. I have no idea just yet how much that's going to be. I'm hoping to make a few more videos yet, so do look out for them. It's likely there's going to be at least the occasional Eve video, but it may well turn into a regular series depending on how well it all goes down. I've got a lot of things to figure out yet. Um, I'm not sure how I want to develop my character beyond what they currently have at the moment, but there's a lot of things to look at and a lot of things to check out. So time will tell. We've got a whole... Um, tree here and I need to really take a close look at it and have a think about where I want to place my character in the future for the game and of course there's some nice things I can do here with the uh, cameras which makes things a little bit more interesting give me the opportunity to shake things up a bit you only have to take a look at my Elite Dangerous videos for that I've really taken a shine to messing with the uh, camera modes to try and get some movie type feel to some of the videos so we'll see how that all goes but for now I think that is that as always thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time